SMILES uh, is an acronym. Um, it's quite a mouthful, so we shortened it uh, for small molecule ionic isolation lattices. SMILES is, in essence, a fluorescent powder. It is the brightest fluorescent powder made to date. We combine the dye into a liquid and then we add the colorless chelator to it and then we let it dry and so we harvest the, another powder but the the key part of that powder is that it's fluorescent what we've been thinking about using the powder for is to put it into polymers and add fluorescence and bright fluorescence to polymers so making smiles is a is a really simple two-pot mix of fluorescent dyes and a chelator. You just mix the two of them together, you make the smiles material, you add it to the tank resin, download your 3D print job, and it comes back and makes this fluorescent 3D object. The ongoing involvement of graduate students has been absolutely critical to investing in the next wave of SMILES concepts. As a graduate student, Chris Benson developed an interest in entrepreneurship and helped lay the groundwork for starting Halo 4. The thing that's unique about SMILES is that it utilizes this thing that's super common in chemistry, but sounds kind of like magic to the outside world, which is self-assembly. Molecules coming together in a programmed and almost intentional way. When we mix these together, they self-assemble and form these well-ordered lattices where the fluorescent dyes are separated from one another with the little ring molecules in between. Halo 4 is one of the first startups to come out of Indiana University's chemistry department during University President McRobbie's new strategic focus on entrepreneurship. Support from the NSF and DOE is ultimately what led to the discovery of SMILES materials. Halo 4 specializes in the introduction of the SMILES materials into polymer, aka plastic. And so we're working at that interface between polymer smiles and taking those into an application. So dye lasers are used in the medical profession. They are used to clean up blemishes, they are used for wound healing, but they are a cumbersome laser system. It's all based on liquid technology. So we want to take that liquid, get rid of it, and make it to a solid state format. And what we want to do with smiles is try to create a laser that brings down the cost of ownership to physicians, which means that more physicians will be able to afford the treatment, they'll be able to treat more patients, the patients will be better able to afford it. And with it, the doctors are going to be more innovative and potentially you know, transform different types of uh, uh, treatments uh, for, for everyday people.